Hey there, it's Jason Stahl with another episode of Body Shop Business, the podcast. And today I have a very special guest in the studio, Alec Martinez, who is the regional sales manager with Hospico Brands Group. Welcome, Alec. Right, thank you for having me. You're welcome. And um, first, I wanted you to tell me a little bit about the company. I understand you have local roots right here in Cleveland Akron area. Yeah, we do. So Hospico Brands Group is a over a hundred year company, which is just kind of like Babcock's. Uh, we've been in the industry for a really long time. I actually started with um, our legacy company, Adina, which was in the automotive industry for over 25 years. And through acquisition, we formed Hospico Brands Group. So now that's what we roll up under. So Alec, tell me all the products you make for the collision repair market and the automotive aftermarket in general. Okay, so we start with um, gloves. We have a we're a leading supplier and manufacturer of gloves, as well as paper non-woven products, microfiber, and as well as a full prep paint and finish line, which is um, going to be up until the clear coat. Great. And so you mentioned the gloves. Talk to me about gloves, because as I understand, they're not all created equal, right? No, not at all. So we have everything that we we have a probably over 40 different gloves. This is kind of the most common in the industry. Um, so we do kind of have a better, good, better, and best system. So your typical, this is your, gonna be your typical six mil nitrile glove. And then we have a nine mil, which is a heavy texture if you see. So this is gonna hold up really well to any kind of oil or grease. So while you're working on a car, like I've even tried it with changing an oil filter and pulling it off, it's all greasy and you get some really good grip onto it. Wow, it's got like a pad on it and it's uh, got like, um... I don't know what kind of surface you want to call that, but it's not smooth, it's for grabbing, right? Exactly, so we call it a pyramid grip. So if you look at it, they're shaped like pyramids, so that mm -hmm. gives it you know, a lot of strength and it, um, a lot of good grip too. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's very uh, durable. It feels you know, like a step up from, like you said, the basic gloves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's, yeah. gonna, it's gonna last a long time. So I understand some people have a problem with lacquer thinner or brake cleaner. Do you have a glove for that? Yeah, we do. So this one was actually specifically formulated to work in the automotive and paint business. So if you try it on, it is going to be super strong, super flexible, mm -hmm. and it's a nine mil thick black nitrile. And even though it's very thick, it's gonna have great dexterity and be super stretchy, almost like a latex glove would be. So if you grab it, you're able to see how far you can stretch it, and it's not going to break on you. Wow, look at that. That's that's crazy. That's awesome. And for my next trick, I shall... No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so that one we actually did try. Um, we soak it in brake cleaner and yeah. other solvents, and it doesn't, it doesn't break down on you. It, you can tell it's thicker and much more resilient uh, than the other level of glove. So it's another level. That's awesome. All right, so that was some of our nitrile offering. And then we do have a very common latex glove, which is gonna be our total grip. You're gonna see this all the time in the industry. And this is a double chlorinated latex. So what the double chlorination does is gives it a really smooth finish. So what a lot of people like to do is use that when they're um, towards the end of the process, when they're gonna be working with paint. And it's not gonna put any fingerprints on the paint. That's what latex is very good for. Yeah, this is a lot softer. I like this. Nice. Yeah, so as you see, it's very, very soft. Very stretchy. Yep. It's not going to be as strong and as durable as a nitrile glove, but right. it's still also a very good option too. You guys have gloves for every different application, it sounds like there is. We do, we do, exactly. Yeah. So then we even do have um, some of our work gloves, some coated cut mechanic gloves, and just your standard uh, mechanic gloves that we offer as well. In case they're handling a piece of sheet metal, a fender, a bumper, a quarter panel, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So when I actually came to this industry, I was in the racing industry. And so we would have a bunch of tore up race cars and have aluminum that's shredded apart, just like you're gonna see in a body shop. Mm -hmm. And that's what we would use, is something like that, just to make sure that your employees are protected. Wow. I noticed this uh, right in the webbing too. That's probably a hot spot, huh? That's Ex extra exactly. protection. And it gives you a little bit of extra grip too. Yeah, very nice, very nice. So Alec, tell me about your heavy duty wiping solutions uh, from your pre-moistened wipes to your rags. All right, so for our pre-moisten wipes, we have our touch point scrubbing wipes. And these are going to be a pre-saturated scrubbing wipe that you're gonna use for your hands, any kind of tools, cleaning a workbench. And as you see, it's not heavily fragranted. Some of the right. other ones in the marketplace are super strong smelling. Um, these ones have a light scent to them and they're a thicker material than what's common in the industry. And so it scrubs really well and it's safe to use on your hands and it's not gonna give you any kind of irritation. How many uses can you get out of uh, a single 
Well, most of the time people are going to be using them, you know, to kind of clean their hands. Yeah. But since they're super thick, you're going to be able to clean your hands and then clean your tools as well. Okay. Nice. You're right, and it's not real strong smelling. Exactly. Yeah. It's not going to give you a headache after using it for a while. Yeah. So, you know, one of the challenges the collision industry faces is the amount in, of materials vehicles are made of today, the exotic substrates, you know, aluminum, carbon fiber, magnesium, uh, 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 high-strength steel. And so um, I, are your products compatible with all those type of substrates? Um, is one, say, better for aluminum than steel? Or so when you're referring to in the paint process, we do have an easy one-step solution that is our prep paint and finish line, and it's a five-step solution of products that are safe for any kind of material. Especially now in the marketplace, you know, cars will have a steel bumper, they'll have aluminum beds, plastic. So uh, it's important to have one product that can do the job for all. So this is our essential tack cloth, and this would be the first step of it. So. We do offer a, your typical cheesecloth kind of material that's common in the industry, but this is a better option. So if you feel that it's very thick, mm. then it's gonna last a lot longer than your typical cheesecloth material. So this one, you're actually able to use it, stretch it out, more tack is gonna get released, and it is wax and silicone free. So this is gonna lead to a lot better of a finish on the process of the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, paint prep is, is crucial, right, to, uh... To avoid avoiding redos, doing proper paint prep, following the steps, and uh, I'm sure this is very useful. Exactly. So, and then our second step of that solution would be our wash and dry cloth. So, this is what you're going to be using um, to wash and dry the vehicle with before you spray the paint on. So, as you see, it's super strong. If you actually grab one and pull on it, there's no way you're going to be able to tear it. Wow. So as well as being strong, it is highly absorbent. A lot of the issues that happen in the uh, paint industry is when they're washing the vehicle and they go to dry it, it doesn't actually dry the material, it just pushes the water. This is highly absorbent and it's gonna dry it really well. So technically, they're so strong, you could even throw it in the washer and dryer and it's not gonna disintegrate. But they are, it is a disposable product. And then the fourth step of the solution would be our static control wipe. So this is a 70-30% blend of isopropyl alcohol and denatured alcohol. So this is going to get rid of any kind of static buildup that's going to lead to you know, any kind of flaws in the paint. So then the final step would be our final tack cloth. So this is going to be the last step up until you would apply the clear coat. So you already painted the surface. This is just going to give it one last tack. So you can pull that out and separate it. And what this is going to do is as well as get rid of any static buildup, it's going to get any surface material or dust or grime that's on the paint off the car. And then so when you use this, you're going to have to do a lot less polishing afterwards to get the paint into a good material. So after the car does, has been clear coated, what we do offer is our smart rags. And this is our heavy duty version. It's going to be a lot heavier of a material. So if you pull one out, you can see there's no seamed edges on it. The seamed edge, a lot of the times, is going to scratch the surface. And there's no tags too. So you're going to prevent any kind of swirls or marring in the paint when you're applying any kind of wax, spray wax, or cleaner. Mm -hmm. So Alec, another pain point right now with collision repairs is the rising cost of paint materials, the rising cost of everything. Talk to me about a product here in the rag category uh, or the wipe category that uh, is a, a very quality product at a reasonable price. So the, the heavy duty one is still going to be at a very reasonable price. It is priced to be disposable, but if pricing is a very big issue, we do offer you know, a less weight version, which is the you know, same style, just in a smaller box and a less weight material. These ones I do recommend using more on like wheels or interiors rather than using on a paint. When you're using a paint, especially on a fresh surface, you're gonna wanna use a heavier material. But they still are priced to be disposable, so they're definitely very affordable. Again, going back to price, and, and again, you know, with the way the world is right now and inflation and whatnot, uh, the rising cost of everything, uh, where do your products sit on the quality cost spectrum? In other words, do you have a good, better, best offering or are they just in general a very you know, solid quality product at a reasonable price. How, where do you sit on that spectrum? So even on our, like our dark light glove that we're talking about, that is a superior product. Nobody else makes one like that. It is still going to be more affordable than your average market glove from one of our competitors. Mm -hmm. But what we do to lead to a cost saving is our signature bundle. So we have a very wide variety of products. So when we sell it, the products through our distributor, it's going to be packed on the same pallet, shipped from the same warehouse right to them. So that's going to lead to another cost savings. Great. And, um, you know, one of the uh, biggest problems
problems and costliest problems in the collision industry is paint redos, right? Um, and, and typically we hear it's user error. Um, it's not necessarily the product, but uh, the user's failure to follow the instructions per the manufacturer, whatever the product might be. Um, so do you offer any guidance to repairers on the use of, your, of these products and where can they go for more information if they're stuck or need help? So if they're stuck or they need help, they can email info at hospicobrands.com and then we'll be happy to, to guide them and give them some coaching on whatever product it is that they have a question on. So Alec, you mentioned earlier that you make a broad spectrum of products for the safety of the user and the safety of the vehicle. Um, that kind of resonated with me. It really sums up all that you have here. Yes, yeah, so we do offer a very wide variety of products of, as far as head to toe protection to keep the user safe. You know, and that's something that's very important in a shop. If your users, your workers hurt, you, know, you can't work. That job can't get done. So that's something that we see is very important to us. Well, Alec, I can't thank you enough for being in the studio today. Thank you so much for visiting Babcock's Media. I am really impressed at the breadth of products here that you have. And again, for the safety of the user, for the safety of the vehicle, um, Great stuff. Thank you so much for being here. All right, thank you for having me. You know, we, it's something that we notice too is we don't make the sexy products. We're not a manufacturer of wheels. We don't make tires. We don't make superchargers. What we do offer is something that's going to keep the workers safe as well as give a really great finish on the car as well. Thanks again. Thank you for having me. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching. Thanks everybody for tuning in to Body Shop Business, the podcast. Check out bodyshopbusiness.com for more podcasts.